Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Manny Torres vs. Ignacio Baja Mendez. Oh no, this isn't... Uh, I'm not fooling you. This is the fourth fight on that card. It's ridiculous. 15-2, and two, plus 100 underdog for Torres, 29 years old, 5'10 with a 73-inch reach, fighting Ignacio Baja Mendez, 15-5, and 4-1 in his last five fights. The last loss was one year ago against Ludovic Klein, Minus 120 favorite, 27 years old, 6'3 with a 75 and a half inch reach. Oh boy, we got a lot to talk about on this one. Let's get out of that. Get out of that one. Matchup. Big, 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 big. We got we got lots to talk about. So average fight time is 218 for Torres, 1149 for Baja Mendez. Is significantly shorter than Baja Menes is Torres, two-inch reach advantage for Ignacio, as we knew, you know, and a couple years older. Again, here's where it's interesting. Strikes landing per minute, 814 to 715, but he has an average fight time of 218, okay? Accuracy is 58 to 46, absorbed 3.14, 3.15 to 4.38, so Ignacio doesn't have as much output, nor does he also gets hit more defense is 56 to 57 here's where it could get fun many with torres take down average for a 15 minute fight 3.26 to zero for ignacio accuracy is 66 to zero defense is 88 to 85 submission average 1.6 to 0.4 so chris duncan nicholas moda frank camacho and england so, I believe he's 3-0 and in the UFC, I believe. It's not going to show me. Hold on a second. I believe he's 3-0 and in the UFC is Manuel Torres. Yeah, 3-0. and So, Frank Camacho destroyed. Did trade and put himself in bad positions, so I don't like that. Destroyed Nicholas Moto with an elbow, but also was hurt earlier. I believe he got stung early in that fight, if I'm correct. And then Chris Duncan stung him, hurt, I believe hurt him with a head kick, and then finished him, and then, yeah, like I said, submitted him, hurt him, and dropped him, got a rear naked choke. The problem, I think, I, I really, really want Torres to win this fight. I like him a lot. I like Ignacio. But he's taller. He has a big, longer reach, two and a half inch reach, 11 finishes. He does have seven first-round finishes, but I would assume the name of the game for Ignacio is going to be to survive that first round. Keep him at distance. Use the jab. Use your length. Use your front kick, your body kick, all of those things. Has been submitted two times in, in the first round. He's 4-2 and two in the UFC, and his two losses are split decision to uh, uh, John McDessie, which is weird, and a uh, unanimous decision loss to Ludovic Klein. So with his decisions, two unanimous and one split. Like we said, John McDessie was the split. So Rong Zhu, he was able to finish in the third round. Roberts, he finished in the third round. Trey Ogden, he beat um, by decision. He was able to use his length in that one and destroyed Christos Yagos with a head kick. Very nasty. Duncan had a lot of success also with his head kick, and he closed that distance, and then Torres was able to catch him and finish him. So, uh, this fight is so hard. This fight is so hard. Because you have a guy who has abilities to finish you on the feet or on the ground. But Ignacio, his decent takedown defense, he doesn't have great output, he does get hit more, but has, does have the weapons to to hurt Torres and keep him at distance and get past that first. We haven't seen Torres pass that first round. If I'm pretty, no, I'm pretty. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we haven't seen him pass that third round. The longest fight we've seen him in, even in the Contender Series fight, is the Camacho debut 327 around number one. So I like Torres. I think he can win. I don't know about round one. I, I, I really don't know. Let's look at Ignacio Baja Mendez. Let's see. Um, takedowns. Ludwig Klein got three of them. Rong Zhu got one. That's it on that. Um, Ignacio had one 
a knockdown against Roberts. Ignacio had one knockdown against Edson Gomes. Ignacio had one knockdown against Christos Yagos, where she finished him with a head kick. Ogden had 42 significant strikes, 48 for Wang Zhu, 55 for Roberts, 124 for John McDessie, who is very, very short, very small. So he was able to outland him in out. Uh, McDessie was able to outland Ignacio in that matchup. You know, destroyed Christos Yagos, really did. But and then you look at Manuel Torres, you know, had two takedowns. One takedown for Chris Duncan, one submission attempt for Torres, one knockdown against Moto, one knockdown against Camacho, one knock, knock, knockdown against Colton England, and all of those ended up in finishes. Four finishes in a row, three TKOs, one submission. I like Daniel Torres. I think he finds the button, and I think he shuts off Ignacio Mahamedes by submission or TKO. And as always, guys, subscribe. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know your prediction down there in the comment section. If you're new, subscribe, like, and comment. Jesus, I just repeated myself. As always, peace.